Hey, my name is Kat. I'm a California CPA. And in this video, I'll show you how to use ProConnect to prepare a business tax return. Let's start. All right, now we're switching to business tax preparation in ProConnect. So I already explained you how to use ProConnect in general and its uh, view. And now we're switching to actual business tax return and the steps to prepare business tax return. So here I have example of 1065 partnership tax return and it kind of has the same view as individual tax return. So it has profile, input return, spe special allocation that's a specific to, um, to business, uh, check return and file return. So in option profile, uh, the reason we can also choose what to e-file and what's not. So for example, here, federal, we, I chose it to e-file. Also, I can add state here if I want to and also choose to e-file. Uh, there's a federal and California extensions too, and as well as amended tax return. So when we go to input tax return, we can see a similar section as individual, but I mean, they're a little bit different due to um, tax forms. So here we have general, it has a client information, it has a name of a partnership, uh, tax ID number, address, uh, business code, activity, and things like that. It has a letter, which is just letters we want to uh, modify. Miscellaneous information, like a bank information, electronic filings, like all kind of like details, uh, other information. And if you want to file extension, that's where we choose to print extension. Uh, automatic extension and things like that. Uh, also, we have a section for partner information. So we input here partner's name, uh, partner's percentages, so beginning and ending. Also, if there is a change of ownership, that's where we put the date and percentage. Ordinary income gross receipts, um, deductions, so it's all comes, uh, it's only income here, my bad. So it's pretty much the same as 1065. Uh, the tax software is uh, created, so it kind of like goes from different steps. So like right here, we enter names and we enter um, income, then there is a deduction section and other things as well. So it has cost of goods sold, there's deductions here, uh, my bet. Uh, depreciation, so here's depreciation, where we enter depreciation details, which we can connect to any form like 1065, or let's say it can go to K1 or 8825, so we can choose it here category, date, place, and service. If we dispose an asset, there is a tab right here where we put a date of disposition and there is a sales price and it will calculate the gain for us. Uh, there is a Schedule K entry. If we like, let's say we need to enter like any other K1 items, uh, so we can enter them here. Or if partnerships owns another partnerships or S corp, that's where we enter K one. There is an option to enter balance sheet. Uh, M ones obviously schedule M one, so it has guarantee payments, deductible, non deductible expenses, uh, things like that. Uh, let's see, what else might be useful state and local adjustment, miscellaneous forms. Um, so that's where we enter all the information. So input data is a, a place where you enter all the information. If you're not sure how to find something, you can also search. Let's say we search for charitable contributions. Charitable contributions, it should be on Schedule K and yeah, it just takes us to one of the places. Let's see, this is 13A prior year summary. We need something for this year. Uh, so for example, M3. Yeah, like here, for example. 
So it gives us different options where to enter information. Also, if you would like to for, uh, print some forms, we can always force it. So for example, if you want to print schedule M3, we can press one here and it says if you press one, it will put like force on the tax return. Uh, so one really important information that I forgot to mention in the beginning, we can easily import information from QuickBooks or uh, from QuickBooks, like right here, we have an option QuickBook Accountant. So we can log into our QuickBooks and choose to import. I'm not going to do it right now, but it is possible. And uh, so we can just choose any client we want. It will have a tax mapping and it will be super easy. It will just transfer to your tax return. And that's something that is very helpful and saves lots of time. There is also import data. We can import data for Schedule D, depreciation, like partners information, so things like that. Uh, important for partnerships as they do special allocate different things, there is an option to, for special allocation. So for example, here we don't really have much to allocate, but let's say we do want to allocate, we can just put like, let's say, um, one of the guys receives whatever percentage of it, another one is different percentage of it. So this, there is an option to special allocate anything you want. And when you're ready to print tax return, re to review it for yourself, or send it for a client or e-file, you go to check return. There is an option under forms, you can review uh, tax returns. So you can review US, California tax returns. Uh, you can look at all the forms available. If you're not sure where to enter certain things, obviously you can click on a, a blue field and will take you wherever, um, where you need to enter information. And what else? Yeah, there's a critical diagnostics that needs to be clear before the tax return is e-filed. There's some suggestions that I recommend you to review because maybe there's certain things needs to be checked or ignored. And if you're ready to e-file tax return, you go to file return. And here you can e-file return, e-file extension, e-file amendments, e-file estimated payments, PDF attachment. You can request client authorization for signatures. You can print the tax return here. You can also choose to mark, mark social security number and add do not file watermark, or you can, uh, you can just print e-signature documents here as well. There is a partial print. So if you just want to print, let's say, depreciation schedule, you can do it here. There's, oh, that's a really cool option because sometimes clients ask me, like, can you please send me K1s and I need to go and extract them from PDF file. So here you can just go and uh, create a zip file and send it to the client. So it's super, super helpful. Also, there is an option here for notes, same as for individuals. Uh, there's a way to import some information. There is return actions that you can like copy te or tax return, rename tax return, restrict, uh, also use Intuit link to collect some documents, uh, sign e-signature, uh, print e-file letter, so invoice and or send it to Intuit. So pretty much similar to um, individual, like all the same options, obviously. And uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much self-explanatory, you go to profile, you choose what forms you want to e-file here where you enter information or you can transfer the information from QuickBooks. Um, there is also integration where you can upload certain things as well. And um, so any special locations you might need, you can enter it here. So let's say one partner receive 100, another one received you can also add percentage if you want to like what is that uh, 693 uh, so difference it, it shows a zip difference here so it will allocate things for you check return e-file tax return so it's super easy like i, I found proconnect is easy to use it's very um it's very like self-explanatory and it's really easy to find input like you can always search here for anything you want, or you can go to tax return if you know where it goes, and you can just click on any 
um, let's see, any blue, um, blue field and it will take you where it goes. So I hope this training was helpful for you and good luck this tax season. Thank you so much and have a great day. So if you're still watching this video, you probably really need to learn how ProConnect works. <laughs> so I hope it was helpful for you and good luck this tax season. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll make sure to reply to your answers. And please subscribe, it helps me a lot. Uh, I need to make more videos on YouTube and if you subscribe, I'll make more videos. If you don't, I probably won't. <laughs> so thank you so much. Have a great day, take care and um, see you soon. Bye.